In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a couple of power conditioners by Triplite. The main focus of this video is to compare the LC1800 with the LC2400 so I can help you make a better informed decision. All right, so I have both Triplite models here. This one is the 2400 watt and this one is the 1800 watt. Looking at the front face plate, there, aren't, there really isn't much of a difference at all. You have the same LED indicator lights on the front, the same front grille. They're both roughly the same weight. This one might be a little bit heavier. I might go ahead and weigh this out for you later or put the, the specs up on the screen. Uh, but the other main difference is, let's go to the cabling. On the 2400 watt, the gauge of the wire is significantly thicker than the 1800 watt. The 2400 watt is on the left and the 1800 watt is on the right and there's a significant difference in thickness in cable wiring. Um, they do have, they do both have the standard three prong plug. Excuse my grammar, I'm not an electrician. However, the 2400 watt goes straight in. It's like a straight plug and the 1800 watt is like one of those angled three prong plugs so that you can kind of like stack one on top of the other without conflicting physically with any other cables that plug into the socket. But that's not the only difference with these plugs with the 2400 watt model. Let me show you. Those of you may or may not know, but on this standard plug, you cannot get more than 1800 watts. In order to get the full 20 amps of current from this 2400 watt model, you have to have, you have to either do this yourself or have an electrician do it, but you have to crimp, you have to cut the cable and then get a crimper and crimp this 20 amp plug. Let me show it to you. So you cut the end off of this and you crimp on this 20 amp plug. You'll see it's, it's a little bit different. Instead of the two prongs that are vertical here on the top, you have one that goes to the side. And this is going to give you the full 2400 watts. Moving on to the back of the unit, or units I should say, there's a difference that I know right off the bat. So right here we have all those standard plugs. But if you look at the 2400 watt model, right here on the bottom, there's two that look different. And the reason they look different is because they are those 20 amp plugs, I believe, uh, from which I showed you earlier. This 20 amp plug has that sideways metal prong to allow you to plug in 20 amp cables to it. So what's the biggest takeaway of this video? If you have a standard outlet receptacle, that's going to be 15 amps, 1800 watts. And if you don't plan on changing any of that to increase the wattage, then your decision is clear. That's going to be the LC1800. But if you plan to go higher than that, then you absolutely are going to need the LC2400. But just be aware that you're going to have to cut the end of the plug on the LC2400 and recrimp the 20 amp plug. And you also have to make sure that you actually have a 20 amp outlet receptacle in your house, you may have to have an electrician come out and install that for you.